Greetings, my friends. My name is Jamal Rahman. I'm Imam at the Interfaith Community Sanctuary in Seattle. This is the prayer room. I wanted to offer just a brief reflection on this very beautiful invocation that opens virtually all of the chapters of the Quran. It's called the Basmallah. In Arabic, the words are Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, meaning in the name of God, boundlessly compassionate, infinitely merciful. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, the entire wisdom of spirituality in Islam is contained in these words. Let me sing it to you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah When the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he was asked to say more, he said, this is the secret to life. Be gentle, compassionate with yourself, and gentle and compassionate with others. So Islamic teachers, to explain the majesty, the power, the beauty of this divine quality of compassion, they use the metaphor of water. There is nothing as soft and yielding as water is, yet for overcoming the hardest, the most insurmountable, there's nothing as powerful as water is, meaning... This vibration of compassion is raw, authentic strength. And then wherever water falls, life flourishes. Compassion is also life bestowing, life affirming. What does it mean to be compassionate with myself? There's a practice called sacred naming, which means Talk to yourself, especially in times of difficulty, when you're angry, you're sad. But talk to yourself with mercy, with compassion. I call myself Brother Jamal. So if I'm angry or sad, I do a spiritual intervention. I say, but Brother Jamal, the moment I say, but Brother Jamal, I feel a wave of mercy and compassion come over me. And I speak to myself quite often. That's called sacred naming. Then there is Sacred holding. Can I hold my difficult feelings, my rage, my jealousy, my depression with compassion from myself? These feelings, difficult feelings, are just vibrations begging to be acknowledged, begging to be touched, begging to be embraced. You know, Carl Jung who studied many Eastern traditions, he said, would you once in your life have the courage and grace to kiss the demons and dragons within you? That's how they turn into a prince or princess. What does it mean to be compassionate with others, with an adversary, an enemy? Know that I'm angry at their behavior, but their being is sacred. Christ nature, Buddha nature, Elohim nature, Allah nature. The sages say, do what is right. Protect yourself. Don't allow yourself to be abused. Take the right action with the adversary. But as you take the right action, they say, we beg you. Do not keep this person's essence out of your heart. And just this discernment between behavior and being has the power to shift heaven and earth. My friends, now I will recite to you Surah Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran. The good news is, is short. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Arrahmanirrahim. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim as-sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين
Humanity is begging God, O oh God, the all-compassionate, please guide all of humanity straight to you. Thank you. Amen.